would I personally recommend the Bose L1 Pro 16 system? And the answer is... What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And more importantly, welcome back to another product spotlight video. In this video, we are taking a look at the recently released Bose L1 Pro 16 column array portable PA speaker. I've been messing around with this speaker for a couple of weeks now. I've taken it out to events. I have a lot of stuff to say and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised by this review. Now, the idea of column arrays or portable line arrays as some people like to call them has been around for quite honestly quite a long time. I believe Bose was actually the first company to come out with this type of technology of having a speaker go up as opposed to having it in a traditional box. And as always, when you have a good idea, you are bound to get ripped off. And that's just facts. In recent years, these types of speakers have become all the rage. Everybody's going nuts for these line array, column array speakers. And a day doesn't go by where I don't have somebody in my inbox asking me what I think about these speakers. There's a lot of misconceptions and misinformation when it comes to these portable line array systems. And people are honestly confused. You have people on two sides of the aisle. You have people who are all about this brand new technology. They're ride or die for it. And you also have the non-believers who question the legitimacy of the sound that these speakers produce. And I'll be honest, I was in that camp. I was a non-believer of these portable line array systems. However, my opinions totally changed once I actually heard these speakers and I became a believer. I am now a huge believer that these speakers will be replacing the traditional box cabinets in just a few years. Years. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bose L1 Pro 16. The L1 series is composed of three different speakers, the 8, the 16 and the 32. Sitting in front of me, I have the 16. And right out of the box, you're gonna get a couple of things. Obviously, you're gonna get an instruction manual and an extension cord. And aside from that, you are also going to get this very sleek carrying case for the actual speaker drivers. So let's go ahead and show you guys what's inside. First off, we have a spacer. So this small spacer here actually gives height to the speaker. Speaker. All you simply do is drop it into place. Now this right here is the actual speaker itself and it's got some weight to it. Now as previously mentioned, there's an 8, a 16, and a 32. And what that basically means is that inside of this column there are 16, that's right, 16 2 inch drivers. In the 8 you're going to find 8 and in the 32 you're going to find 32. Each one of those tiny 2 inch drivers are crisscrossed or angled giving you a super wide dispersion of coverage like no other speaker produces. This speaker produces an insane 180 degrees of coverage. From top to bottom, it spreads in a J shape and has a max SPL of 124 dB. So don't let the size of the drivers fool you. This speaker packs a punch. All right, so let's take a closer look at the sub. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is that again, it's got a different look. Look, it's not like your traditional box sub. What you see here is a rectangle. And the reason that is, is because the actual swoofer that they're using in here is shaped like a racetrack. They actually do call it a racetrack woofer. Think of a regular square woofer. They're essentially compressing it, giving it a little bit more height and less width. So that's essentially what we have here. It's just shy of it being a 15 inch woofer. However,
However, because it's got that racetrack pattern, it looks much more compact. It's easier to carry around, changing the center of gravity, making it super easy and portable. Now this sub features a Class D amplifier packing a whopping thousand watts of power. One of the first things that really had my head turning when I first plugged this thing in was the sub. This thing has beautiful sound. It's a punchy, tight kick that it produces. This is how I like my speakers sounding. If you guys have seen any of my previous speaker reviews, you guys have always heard me complain that the bass just isn't quite doing it for me. That's where a lot of companies kind of cheap out when it comes to the bass. Those higher frequencies always seem to shine in other speakers. However, it seems like they always neglect the lower frequencies. And this sub drops down to 42 hertz, which really just gives you awesome sound. So here we have a closer look at the mixer section of our L1 Pro. It's a three channel mixer featuring two channels that have XLR quarter inch combo jacks and I love the fact that these two channels are also phantom powered. In addition, you can also assign to whether you want to have this set to mic, instrument or just off and mute buttons for each of our three channels. The third channel features Bluetooth input, you also have an eighth inch jack allowing super easy inputs of a small mp3 player ipod ipad whatever it may be for those oh shit moments or just redundancy i love having that especially as a dj myself and last but not least we also have an additional quarter inch you can also eq this whole system right from the back here on the bottom we have an xlr line out this is great for daisy chaining speakers or a line output to give to your videographers for those of you djs using these for weddings lastly we also have a tone match input not something that you would need as a dj but singers songwriters musicians will be super happy to see that built into the speaker and of course we also have a power on off button here on top we have our volume control and eq sections for all three of our channels and let me just say this i love what bose has done i love the way that they engineered this it's super awesome super Super premium love the whole interaction between myself the user and the speaker so check it out each one of these is obviously our volume control for each of our channels so we have channels one two and three now in addition to volume control you also have a two band eq to play with and the way we access that is just by pressing down on the volume knob and that will allow us to trigger between treble bass and reverb channels one and two have a reverb section this is great for those of you guys who are going to be using this for live music and it's super easy to adjust as soon as you trigger them you'll notice what it's set to so right now my treble is all the way down and i can bring that up let's say i want to add a little bit more bass i can bring my bass all the way up as well on channels three we do lose the reverb function however our two band eq is still present we have treble control control and bass control i've actually been using this speaker as a full dedicated mixer no need for an external mixer when i'm using this love this love this love this i cannot praise this enough now it is also worth noting that everything we just discussed can also be controlled using the l1 pro mix app available for both android and apple ios devices soon after posting my speaker review videos i get the question hey bar is this speaker good enough for 50 people 100 people 200 people and my answer to that question is always the same it's never really about the number of people that you have an event it's more or less about the size of the venue and I can say with confidence that with this speaker you'll be able to easily tackle small to medium even maybe larger ballrooms just assuming that they're not like you know arena size these speakers are pretty damn Damn freaking loud so you can definitely feel confident to use these at decent size venues and if you have two of these bad boys forget about it you're gonna have more than enough power more than enough punch because these things also get very loud we're talking a hundred and twenty
24 dBs of peak output. And if you think that's not enough power for you, then you should probably consider consulting an ear doctor because that's pretty damn loud. Now, it looks good, it sounds good, but a problem that I found with this speaker and pretty much every speaker that has a plastic build like this is that they scratch super easy. And I'm not one to baby my systems. I'm just not the guy to do that. I want something that works, that's durable and reliable. And an issue that I found with this thing is my first gig out, it earned some battle scars because it doesn't have the coating that some of the other wood or plastic cabinets have. Now, you may be saying to yourself, why don't you just get a case? And yes, you could do that, but the case that Bose offer is this thing right here, and it's freaking massive. This is the case that Bose has made to carry this thing around. And I'll be honest with you, I was super excited when I reached out to Bose and I told them, hey, does this thing have a case or anything? Because I'm scratching it all up. And they said, no problem, we're gonna send a case your way. And and you know, while I was flattered that they send this thing over, it's huge. It's huge and it's cumbersome. I found it very difficult to store this thing. When you put your columns inside of here and the sub, this thing becomes quite heavy. When you're looking at the sub, you're looking at about a 44 pound subwoofer and then the columns and spacers, they're about 15 pounds. So all together, when you add the sub, the two columns and this bag, you now have a bag that's about 60 pounds. And while I do enjoy some of the features that this bag offers, if I go ahead and open it up for you guys, I love the fact that they give you extra space for cables. It also comes with an extra little baggie that you can store all your accessories and whatnot. It's just way too big for what this speaker is. And if you're carrying around two of these things, man, if you have a minivan, that's gonna take up your entire space. However, there is a saving grace. You see, you can go out and buy just a regular sleeve. And I wish that they would just include this out of the box. It's honestly not too expensive. I believe it costs 50 bucks. I do wish that it was a little bit more padded, but when you put this over, you can't beat the simplicity of a traditional sleeve over your speakers. about sound quality. It sounds fucking awesome to be quite frank with you. As soon as I plugged this thing in and played my first track on it, I was like, damn. This thing sounds really good. The vocal clarity is insane and the bass is top notch. It's a punchy deep bass that you can absolutely feel. When you play back music through these speakers, you can easily differentiate the different instruments inside of songs. It sounds so good. I'll go ahead and say it. It honestly does feel like concert quality sound. These speakers sound great. It's very difficult to showcase sound via YouTube just because there's many layers to this. You're hearing the speaker recorded by a camera and then compressed on my editing software and then compressed again on YouTube. So you're not really getting the full sound that this speaker produces. But rest assured when I say this, it's a damn 
good sounding speaker. It's one of the best speakers that I've ever heard and it will honestly change your mind if you're a non-believer of these column array systems. I dare you to go out and listen to this speaker because you will be pleasantly surprised. I cannot believe the sound that this speaker was produced. Now, in conclusion, would I personally recommend the Bose L1 Pro 16 system? And the answer is 100%. I love this thing. It sounds so freaking good. And again, I don't want this video to come off as just me praising this speaker because it does seem like I'm just kind of blowing smoke up its ass. But it's honestly a really good sounding speaker. As soon as you hear this thing, and I beg you, please go out and try to listen to this thing at your local sound shop because you're going to be pleasantly surprised. It sounds freaking awesome. It's also got a super modern premium and stylish look to it. The speaker is absolutely beautiful and in hand you could definitely feel that this is a high-end speaker and the price does match. It's an $1,800 speaker. Two of these speakers plus cases will set you back $4,000. So they're not cheap speakers but do keep in mind that this is Bose you're talking about. It's a legit premium product that you are paying for. Also you could opt for this bag which is $300 so that'll really set you back above the $4,000 range. I recommend just keeping this bag that comes with your speaker and just getting the slip cover to protect it from scratching. Bros, thank you so much for watching this video. I honestly do appreciate it. If you have any feedback, comments, or concerns, please let me know down in those comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. I'll be leaving purchase links as well as more information about the Bose Pro L1 16 down in the description of this video. Please be sure to hit that like before you leave, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another product spotlight video. Special thanks to Bose Professional for sending this speaker out to review. You'll be seeing a whole lot more from this speaker in my upcoming gig logs because this is my new go-to speaker. Signing off, DJ Bar. Stay awesome, bros. Peace. Yeah.